is Ona Indigo. And the new project I'm working on is my first LP, so my first long painting. It's entitled Love Warrior, and the artist name that I go, my project goes by is No Accordion. This is a motherfucking love song. I'm touchy feely too, and super sexual. What's between me and you is not intellectual. Animal inside me, that's the one that guides me. This is a motherfucking love song. So the love warrior is basically how I see myself and what I've been going through as that processing over the last years of especially having left a long-term marriage five years ago and having a very closed heart and learning to kind of open up that through that heart opening process and it was very difficult and very painful but also very healing and now to stay in that more open-hearted space but because of some of the experiences I've had, especially in the last five years that have also been really difficult, it feels like it's, I have to be like a warrior in order to stay open and unconditionally loving. My name is Louis Locke. They call me Master Locke. Uh, no accordion means freedom, you know? Of course there's no accordion, but there is. So it's like a little of everything right there. I'm involved in the No Accordion Project uh, by way of being a beatboxer and a drummer. Well, my name is Saram Chatterbox Nash. Um, no Accordion, um, it's a project of different folks collaborating, um, spearheaded by Ona Indigo. Um, it, it means to me some interesting, different, quirky music. Um, that I've had the opportunity to work on a few tracks with her, and um, yeah. My name is Julia Dell, and I am Ona Indigo's daughter. Um, no accordion means to me uh, a creative outlet for my mom. I think it's like a collaboration that's based on Ona's creative vision and music that she creates, but it definitely brings in a lot of different artists. Uh, my name is Taj Angelo, and what does no accordion mean to me? I love accordion. I haven't played since I was a kid, and I'm kicking with Ona, who plays accordion exclusively sometimes, so I'm gonna have to pick that up again. But no accordion, with the slash through it, is like a trap for people who hate accordion music. <laughs> Uh, you know, and, and sort of lures people that would not necessarily be into hearing something into hearing something. I'm inspired by this need to process my emotions a lot of times, a lot of my emotional body, and it may be things that have happened to me in the external world that deal with my mind as well, but I'm not, the best way I've found to deal with my emotions and is to make music. It's, it's like a form of meditation. It makes me feel good. So I am inspired like on a daily basis to do this because of how it makes me feel. You know, the elements of the music that makes it weird is like the beats. Sometimes they're kind of weird. They go off a little bit and they come back. And, um, the vocals, sometimes they are uh, abstract. And, um, and then you add the beatbox and it's like, oh man, we're out there. <laughs> I would say one of the determining factors for sure is Ona's um, decor, whenever she, when she, uh, when she puts on a show, I mean, she gets some pretty wild costumes going on, and and just her style is—it's her style, you know. She does she does some interesting stuff, um, so you know, it's, it's really fun, you know, watching her throwing some accordion and some keyboard and some pitch shift and all this, you know, this fun stuff. She definitely makes music outside, you know, the the box. <laughs> I think no accordion is described as weird because it mixes so many different genres that you can't really classify it as something, but you can definitely identify 
it because she has a style. The music is both positive and negative, both yin and yang, both both mother and father. You know, it's, it's, it's very true to both of those realms. And each song has all the elements in balance like that. Um, instance being, Ona will use a song that is more slow and languid and soft and spooky and do very positive uplifting lyrics over the top of it. Where she will use a song that is more upbeat and more perky and more, say, major chords and things like that. And the and, uh, you know the energy is there to keep you moving, but what you're getting from the lyrics is a more intense, you know, truthful, um, brutally honest sort of experience. Um, no, Cornea, in my music has been described as weird often, and I think that a lot of people might get that impression because of the way I'm combining elements from very different genres of music in ways that maybe haven't been done very often before. So it's creating a new combination that is weird to the ears, but it's not as different as people may think. Shower them with laser beams. As a musician, I am contributing to the Bay Area music scene as just just being around. I can start a party anywhere. I beatbox and I play the drums, but when I beatbox on the street, people think I'm the radio. You know, I, I, I'm actually here to bring love and to show people that they can live their dream. One of my one of my key roles is um, as I like to stick to kind of stuff that has um, a message or a meaning, and that involves working with kids. And so that's one way that I've been able to use my skill to give back is to um, to create uh, songs that are environmentally themed, or um, I work with a puppet crew that also does um, kids um, kind of edutainment, hip hop, puppet theater um, with various different. Um, themes and so um, I think working with kids in the community is, is a great way to um, be part of the community. To create, continue expanding and building the momentum of and to extend the love that is here in this Bay Area community through music, through art, through cultural works, through community organizations, through grassroots organizing, through whatever nonprofits, through for-profits and everyone's sharing in that piece. I feel that a, a role, I, I play a role here as a, a female electronic music producer, which there aren't that many of us. I see one of my roles now that I've become a music producer more than just a musician is that I can showcase and feature all these other musicians in my community. I basically make them a backing track. I already know kind of what their style is, so I know which is the right track I want them on. And then I have them come into the studio and they lay down their magic and I get to feature them because I get bored with myself. You know, collaborating with Ona is a, a blessing. It's a, a I, it's not too many words I can say. My heart is just really enriched, you know, every time I step on stage with Ona. Uh, it's fun. It's it's a laugh. <laughs> I don't know. It's cool. She gets me to do some awesome stuff, and I've got some cool makeup gigs like this. And we did that music video. Yeah. We have, we've done two music videos together. Yeah. Another lover. Another motherfucking love song. Collaborating with Ona is. It's been pretty fun for me. Um, and she's pretty flexible, you know? I myself already like doing things that are outside the box um, or break barriers or normal thought of parameters. You know, I do a lot of voice, character acting and stuff like that. So I get into character with a lot of different stuff that I, that I do. Um, so I'm happy to be able to get silly and just kind of have no necessary boundaries when I work with no accordion. Um, my process over the last year is it seems that I work in like a series of songs. So I've been working in like series of sixes. And I'll 
kind of start working on all of them at the same time and then just kind of rotate through them over and over again. I get a little bored if I just like work on one of them. So that's why I have to do six at a time. And I also like the fact that then at least those six were done around the same time. So it feels, they have a similar feel to them because, you know, as for my sound palette, it's pretty ginormous. <laughs> like I've, <laughs> I've been around a while and I've done, you know, starting off with the classical, um, traditional, I played a lot of Mozart and Beethoven and all that stuff as a kid, the jazz, the blues, uh, Electronic, I've been part of the whole electronic scene for a long time. I love Latin American music. I've been in samba bands and Cuban ensembles. So I love that. <laughs> This is Ona Indigo from No Accordion. And I just want to let you know you should look out summer 2016 for the new LP called Love Warrior. Also to learn more about this project and what else No Accordion's been up to, go to www.noaccordion.com. Motherfucker, motherfucking love song. Another lover. Another motherfucking love song. <laughs>